what's up everybody, this is Bert Meister back in the S-Trials for Advanced Wars. And finally, all the Nightmare Revenge matches are done, thank God. So we can take a breather that the next War Rooms won't be as bad as they already are. So let's go ahead and change that little S that I did to show a proof of concept that I actually did it. But no, we're not doing any of the Nightmare War Rooms. We're moving on to Miley's Hope. And since we've completed this war room with the possible of 9 out of 20 with 11 left, we're in the halfway point. So let's go ahead and take out Ego and use, yes, Ego. Surprising how everybody wonders why am I using the Flyboy in this one. Well, to give him some screen time. Trust me, since I have to use the rule of using all the seals in this game, let's go ahead and explain the mission objective. To pass this war room with a perfect S is 20 days. Right from the start, it's going to be irritating because you got to catch all these buildings as quick as you can. Even worse, destroying more than four to five units. Huh, yeah, that's going to be troublesome to do. Despite how much funds Ego has, yes, once again. And why the heck does he have a base right here? Whatever's making it easier for me, that's just fine. And not losing three to four units once again. So right from the start, this war room is already going to be troublesome because of, once again, the pain of my existence, woods. I truly hate woods by far, anything that I've ever had to deal with. Trust me, I just hate these little things. They're just so irritating to have to deal with, and despite them being in the way, that's going to have to spice. So as much as I'm not going to go for uh, Ego's base because of one reason, yeah... As I can see it already, Ego is the Air Unit Specialist, and since I'm just going to have to do everything in my power to try and catch these things as quick as I can, that'll have to say that I truly do not like this War Room one bit. Hmm. I'm already kind of forgetting what I'm supposed to do here, but oh well. Yeah, I just really don't like trying to do movements and then try to forget that I have to do this thing at a certain time. So since I'm already going to start the invasion right here, since I have three battle choppers, I mean transport choppers right off the bat, the only problem I'm going to have right from the start is to have this guy cooperate. Yeah, this is where everything is going to turn very bad. I mean, really. As much as I truly do not like this war room because of how many obstacles are in the way, I'm going to hope and pray that I can get this war room done. Sad to say, this war room ain't gonna be pretty because of how many units Eagle already has. So let's go ahead and just build these two infantries into existence. And get ready for the ultimate onslaught. Yes, the onslaught of all of Eagle's units going bye bye. Sad to say, you really have no choice what to do in this war room because of one thing that starts to piss you off from beyond beliefs. Yes, it's Ego's air unit. As much as I really like Ego because he is the air unit specialist in this game and even though he is one of the best seals to have, I'm going to bring two transport choppers for kind of an insurance so that way I can just start killing this guy. Oh, and he brought the fighter already. Wonderful. Well, whatever. We're just going to have to kill some of your little annoying... Oh, yeah. I don't know if this is going to go very well, but we'll see what happens. So since I'm already going to have to try, if anything, to build a lot of units... This is where everything is going to turn bad. The war room itself is not that bad, trust me. If Ego starts building units on the far east side, that just saves him the trouble of having to build any more units. And yes, thank you, Flyboy. You just cut me some slack, I think, so thank you very much. Now I can kill your bomber, I think. Well, I don't know if this is going to go smooth or anything, but let's go ahead and kill Mr. Yes, the fighter or something. I don't know. 
So as much as you want to try to build as much units as you want, and trust me, I'm going to say this once again, build as much units as you can. So you're going to need all these units to somehow take out Eagle. And whatever you do, stop trying to catch more buildings. Oh, and I don't even know where that fighter is. Oh, God, that's where it was. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, I don't want to have to deal with this war room any more than what I've already had to deal with. So let's go ahead and just get these transport choppers ready to go. Trust me, I don't like this war room at all because just how very bad this war room can be right from the start. Oh, and you want to bring your units into the battlefield. Oh, well, whatever. If that's what you want to do, go ahead. Make the Burtmeister's day by just kind of cutting me some slack, mister. Sad to say, I don't think you will do that because I'm pretty sure that battle chopper you build will try to come after me. Whatever. So, as much as I'm going to try to see how well this war room goes because, yeah, I can kind of feel how bad this war room is going to be right off the bat because... Yeah, those units are going to truly be a trouble thing to deal with. And really, I don't like to deal with any trouble right about now. Okay, so since we got enough units, I think, hopefully all he has to do is just bring them down. Stop being such a coward. Sad to say, you're gonna die right around here. Yeah, I just don't get this war room by any means necessary. So, let's go ahead and somehow, some way, I think we can do it. Let's see. Okay, he's gone. And as much as I'm not gonna need to worry about this guy. Okay, so I'll just put this here. I'll just put this here, and I'll just put this here, and just protect my chopper for safe measures. And build one more fighter for nostalgic sake. Oh, you wanted to attack my tank. Oh, you sucker. Okay, thank you. You just made the Burmeister's day, I think. But whatever's. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and just kill this guy. Quite frankly... He's going to lose it here. minute limit. Okay. Oh, come on, buddy. Make yourself good and be nice enough to just surrender. Oh, well. I guess you're not gonna want to surrender. That's just fine. Alright, let's see if we can do this. Destroy all of Ego's units in one turn. Hmm. Okay, that's gonna be gone. That's gonna be gone, yes. Okay, so far so good. Alright. And there we go! We got our power meter. Hopefully, dear gods, we did. And I think we completed it. I don't know how fast, but I'll have to check into it. 
Please say it's a perfect S. Yes, it is. Thank God we did it. Woo! Hooray for Eagle. You embarrassed your own self. This is what happens when you mess with air power. Thank you very much. So as much as we got the perfect S, I don't remember the day. I think I passed it in 12 days, I think, which was the time limit of 18. We basically embarrassed him once again. So with this war room, I can conclude. Ego, this war room, I'm going to give you the most oddest rank I think anybody has ever seen. So once again, let's get that rank analysis up and show everybody what this war room deserves. Well, I'm glad you upgraded to one level. This war room deserves a D rank by far. Now, I know what you're also thinking. Why did I give this war room a D? Well, there was already something wrong from the start. Why the heck did he have a base way on the east side? I'll never know, but whatever. So, yeah, that war room is done. And with Ego, I can say this war room is easy to get the S rank, but it can get tricky since I only did three attempts in this one and I got the S and... Yeah, that's that's all I can say about you, Ego. I don't know why you're not a challenge, but your counterpart is just irritating. Yes, the fat bastard Drake, why is he annoyed and you're not? But whatever, we're just done. Oh, yes. And now we're in the halfway point. Excellent. But the next war room won't be so pleasant. Oh, yes, we're going to be introduced to a new CO who is truly not one of the top three CEOs, but she's coming close to be taken over by... The indirect king himself, Grant, but I don't know what it is, what's wrong with her. But this is Birdmeister saying thank you guys for watching this video. And I hope to see you guys in the next war room. So until then, peace out and take care.